We're not stopping, we're not giving up because we know something happened to Kendrick Johnson. We know he was murdered. The body of 17-year-old Kendrick Johnson was found rolled up inside a gym mat in his school's gymnasium back in 2013. Local authorities believe Kendrick died while trying to reach into the mat to retrieve a pair of sneakers. His parents, Jacqueline and Kenneth Johnson, say Kendrick was murdered. There's no way my son would have tried to get up and get in a mat. His shoulders wouldn't go in, first of all. You got to wiggle your step all the way down to the bottom and you know you ain't gonna be able to get up. Come on, common sense. Three different autopsies had conflicting results. A medical examiner determined in 2013 that Kendrick Johnson died of positional asphyxia, while the second and third autopsies cite blunt force trauma as the cause of death. In 2016, the Department of Justice closed the investigation into Johnson's death because of insufficient evidence to support federal criminal charges. The Johnson family lobbied for the Justice Department to continue its investigation. A Justice for Kendrick Johnson rally on the steps of the Georgia State Capitol in June 2020 drew large crowds and celebrity support from rapper T.I. and former football player Marcus Coleman. Now the investigation into Kendrick Johnson's death has been reopened. Police say it could take up to six months to go through 17 boxes of evidence from the federal investigation and conduct interviews. You know, we gonna really always keep Kendrick Johnson first and we're gonna always keep his legacy alive. The main thing, keeping his momentum going. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman.